Hello. <laughs> New man. Not entirely. I shouldn't have shaved this off until I actually started living out back in my woods, but it is what it is. I, sh I honestly, yeah, I'm a week off because it's legit just an absolute, I mean, you can't really tell, but it's an absolute dog week this week just for weather-wise. It's just crappy weather. Average temperature is like upper 30s. And coming off of winter, that doesn't seem very bad, right? Especially coming off of my my lifestyle. But it has not been what I thought it would be. Not what I prepared for. Not what I wanted. <laughs> I'm going to try and bust this out as fast as I can. I got about 20 minute drive. And uh, I've got some confessions, folks. Plain and simple. This is going to be a confessional video. And I can't help it. Um, because things are not good. Things are great. Don't worry. They're awesome. I'm alive and I'm living and kicking and breathing and, and loving and thankful and grateful. I am very much happy to be alive. I'm grateful. I'm very happy. Um, but as far as sticking to my austerity, sticking to my routine, sticking to the goals um, and the positive good habits that I've been you know, more or less than creating and, 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 and going after and continuing over the past several months, I haven't really been doing so well. But I understand why. I get it. It's okay. I'm not going to beat myself up yet. <laughs> um, but I, I, I got to recognize why. And I think I have an understanding, but I know I won't get it real clarity until uh, until I actually follow through on, on what I want to do. So a little update. Since we're going to go all the way back um, since the vacation, right? I actually have a video that I haven't posted. I've just watched it, just checked my history and I looked at uh, April 17th. I had a video made and I didn't even post it yet. So I got to get that posted up. It's a really good video. Completely forgot what it was about. So don't ask me. Ask me, just not in another video. Just not in this video. <laughs> um, so, ah, it was a very good video, and I think it had a lot to do with the, the, the future. What I'm, I think it does have a lot to do with what I'm about to talk with, about to talk about here in this video. Um, but yeah, so confession time. This past, let's say it's been about three weeks. It is... May, May 2nd, uh, we're kicking off May, it is Tuesday, May 2nd, May 1st was yesterday, Monday, what an opportunity to start off the month right, right, what an opportunity to start fasting and praying and getting on your good level austerities, nope, not me, no sir, not ready, um, good news, semi next week, May 7th, which is a Sunday, um, is my 90 days. So not that I've always done great at prepping and setting a date for change, um, but it is a big day and the weather should be good. Uh, the weather's supposed to be kicking up this weekend. So to prep in advance as best as I can, next week should be the week to just start everything. Just start absolutely everything. Um, everything back up, essentially. The new stuff is going to be living out back. Plain and simple. And if you guys wonder why I haven't started yet, it's because I'm scared. It's so tough again. <laughs> it is what it is, folks. I have been procrastinating, I've been holding back, I have been unprepared, plain and simple. Now, I know that may come as a surprise to those of you who really have been following. Granted, if you're watching this video, you can't actually know my history because that history isn't quite posted yet, right? My, my 
my Buckeye trails, my New Yorks, my Californias, all my traveling experiences that I've really unprepared for um, and and really just followed through and, and, and tackled it wholeheartedly and, you know, and did what I wanted to do, just just did it, went and jumped off the cliff. Um, I'm trying to go, it's, it's, it's not working. It's not working though because technically there's, there's resentment, there is, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, there's guilt and shame based off of the lack of preparation because of the lack of clarity and lack of dedication or follow through on those specific adventures that I've had. So preparation, I'm sorry, adventure meets preparation meets follow through meets, um, you know, it, 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 it all comes together and all makes sense nowadays as far as why or how I'm supposed to be going through what I'm supposed to be going through and what I am going through. Um, but it's okay. I'm not hating on myself not yet. So, um, confession time, like I said, six minutes in, I have not followed through on many of my austerities. Just all of them. Just all of them, guys. If you've been following me, you, you should be able to catch on to what I'm supposed to be doing. Waking up early, walking, cold showers, um, reading, meditation, um, Let's say daily uh, 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 devotions, <clears throat> um, uh, uh, fasting. I haven't fasted since I actually went on vacation and received the clarity of what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, so it's it's everything. It's all of the positives. So I can still hold back on most of the what not to dos, but essentially. This is the most crucial time. When you pull the weeds out of the garden and don't plant anything in place of the weeds, guess what returns? Mm. So there's your parable for the day. But essentially, that's what's that's kind of what I'm going through right now is I've pulled the weeds more or less, right? I still have... Um, Right, I haven't been, um, <laughs> I don't know what word to use. I haven't maintained, um, uh, uh, I was gonna say sabbatical. Um, gosh, man, when I need the word, I need the word. When I need the word most is when it doesn't hit me. Um, celibacy. I have not been able to maintain celibacy for 90 days, right? I haven't been completely clean in, let's say, the terms of lust for 90 days. But I mean, I'm certainly doing better than what I used to do, which would be quite often, right? Um, but it's very much getting better. I'm not hating on myself for the lack of Lack of lust, the, the the discipline of not committing idolatry, so to speak. Um, and I know it. I know I might be sounding like I'm backwards half the time. Uh, so work with me on my lisdexia. <laughs> but um, where do I want to go with this? So there are certain habits. So let's say scrolling nowadays. Some of the worst things that I'm doing now is scrolling, right? I'm still on, um, let's say things like YouTube, um, or if I go on Facebook, but for a mere second, I'll hit up those short-term reels and still just give in for, it won't be as, as long, it won't be, you know, hours at a time. Not that I've never done hours, even though I have, I've done a couple hours uh, at a time. Now it's like, um, it's like 10 to 15 minutes, you know, you get, you, you, you pop a squat on the pot and instead of reading your devotions, I'm, I'm scrolling. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm getting better. It's just not, it's not good. It's not great. Um, and I've done better in this, in this, in this, uh, in the past few months. So I'm kind of falling off the bandwagon with scrolling. I have not been doing my daily, um, 
I haven't been writing down stuff as much. Um, and that's the weird one because I used to do that every single day. And if I tend to scroll, I, I that's 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 taking up the time of what I really just do a, used to do quite a bit of, and that's write shit down, write stuff down in my journal, um, on my daily tracker, just keeping track of things. That's not a hard thing to do, um, but I'm realizing that I'm not doing it because I know I'm not following my habits. So um, shame and guilt are all a part of this. Um, so ever since the vacation, I have really fallen off due to fear. Essentially, it's all fear-based. Um, I've received clarity. I've received a vision. I've received the all of the. I've received a vision, more or less, and I continue to receive a vision, um, both in regards to a positive future of what I can be doing and a negative future of what is to come in the world around me, right? So if you follow, there is not just many parables on the the act of running towards a vision and running away from the fear, Um, but the study of you put, I believe I just heard this one today from a scroll, but um, I think it was I think Jordan Peterson mentioned it, but it's not, he's not the, obviously the one who did the study. Uh, maybe like an Andrew Huberman would be closer to it. But um, you put rats in a cage. Uh, I'm not. Gonna, I'm probably going to butcher this a little bit. But you put rats in a cage. You starve them to death. You open up. You open up uh, a flap and, and 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 put in the smell of cheese, so they run towards it, right? Obviously, this is just a, a simple experiment of, of food, right? So your senses go off and you're starving, so you're going to run towards it. That's a simple gimme. Um, but then you, then what they did is opened up a cage from behind and put the scent of a cat in from the rear, right? And once you get that smell, it's like, uh, they run even faster. They run towards the object at a, at a much higher speed, much higher intent. So um, just obvious parables. And I should be here. I should be there. I am petrified of the future. I am petrified, folks. From And I can't say it yet. I'm not going to say what I see coming for the future until I'm fasted. I'm not going to go into it because it's just going to be a bunch of rambling around, beating around the foot. It's just not going to be straightforward. Um, but what I, and, and what I want to do is straight to the point of what is possible to come. And uh, to me, it's very fearful. It's very worrisome. I do not see the future to be very <laughs> gorgeous. 2023, by the way. Um, so it's not looking good. Um, and ever since I went on my vacay, I have seen nothing but positives. I need to know where I'm going here. This is pathetic. I cannot drive behind this. This is ridiculous. Wow, man. (laughs) All right. Um, Sheesh. Um, Sorry. Distraction. Squirrel! Um, so yeah, I've seen my vision and it's also very scary to me because of how difficult it is to, um, it, it, it seems to, uh, to, to act out, right? It's so much easier to just hide away. So much easier to hide in my little home that I've created for myself over the year, over the past couple years, um, living off, living on a farm right now, right? So it's so ironic. It is, it's coming together so ironically, um, which is why I'm not so much hating on myself because I'm kind of understanding what's going on and why it's happening, the way it's happening specifically. I really want to be out in the woods right now, but the fact is it's been raining for like a week and it's like dang man who wants to sleep out in the rain besides my 
past per my past person, me in the past, right? Besides my old version. Anyway, I need to think about what exit I'm getting off at here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get off at this upcoming one. Oh my goodness, man. This is so bad. So anyway, I am pretty What the heck? That ain't no skunk. Really? Is my vent open? Man, a day. Anyway, so there are a lot of goals that I have yet to even begin, and the biggest one is getting the hack out of my house. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it this uh, this upcoming week. I don't know how to guarantee you folks, but come next week, I plan on living outside. I have no preparation. I have zero preparation. Zero. Um, ideas or thoughts on how to start it, right? Because it's just different. Like there's, there's really no time to prep. Like every single day leading up to the day I need to, you know, the day I need to go, I'm working, right? It's just nonstop work. And I know I said I've scrolled. Um, and that's my, that's my excuse, which is obviously not a good one, but, uh, I just am not even sure how to prepare. Um, I'm I'm very fearful, and the fear is kind of stopping me from pre- preparing for this. Worst case scenario, I believe, is literally driving my vehicle to the back of the yard, or even less worse, or even less worst case scenario. In a way, I'm saying um, worst case scenario of not doing it, how to make sure I do it. The easiest, let's say the easiest case scenario is literally going out to my vehicle in the driveway and sleeping in it. Plain and simple. It's that simple. Like it sounds so stupid, right? It sounds so put your, put, put a, put a word in there that makes it sound just ha ha. (laughs) But it's like, um, there's no real grounding to it other than by God, if I wake up feeling so sore that I just need to get up or so cold, right? Usually the cold on the trail is what got me to wake up. And it's not like it always did, which is the fear. God, yep. You could tell I'm on the roads of Bedford nowadays. Now, um, so anyway, I just kind of realized I have no idea where I'm going. So I'm going to, no, I know I broke, never mind. Um, but yeah, easiest case scenario, I go and sleep out in the vehicle in my driveway just to make sure um, that I wake up and get moving. The goal is 6 a.m., plain and simple. Um, I need to hit a 6 a.m. and I need to maintain it. Eventually, it's going to be 5, you know, midsummer. Um, and I want it to be like 4.30 because that's when the sun technically rises with time change. So... If I were to actually wake up with the sun without time change, man, am I waking up early. Um, Good luck. Good luck one day. Uh, But anyway, I am... I am focused on follow through. I just need to get in the vehicle. And right now I am complaining because it's so cold. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> um, we'll get there. We'll get there. Plain and simple. We'll get there very easily. Um, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's, that's, that's pretty much my confession, um, for the day. And I wonder if there's anything else. Nope, I feel pretty good. Enjoy this one. It's the shortest video I've made in a while. My bars are going great. Folks, I have so 
so perfected. They are so good. My bars are so phenomenal. They're so delicious. Um, yeah, it's it's so. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, and I'm looking to make a business out of them, plain and simple. I'm gonna be selling these things pretty soon. So, yay, yippee doo da. Uh, catch you guys soon. Uh, confess expressively. <laughs>